if you haven't pressed play on Shopper yet, do it now. It's just sitting there in your queue. You might as well press play. Shopper is a new noir crime thriller currently streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. It stars Justice Smith, Brianna Middleton, Julianne Moore, John Lithgow, and Sebastian Stan. Now, I just want to take a second here to give Sebastian Stan his flowers. He is such a versatile chameleon of an actor. I love the projects that he is picking for his career. And I just think I, I am enjoying seeing him on screen. He is so versatile and so talented. He is so convincing and believable as this con artist who takes Brianna Middleton's character under his wing to show her the game, but he uses her to enhance his own confidence scheme because he is one-upping his lover, played by Julianne Moore, who is uh, engaged to this billionaire that they want to rob. Justice Smith, his role is he's this unsuspecting billionaire son who falls in love with Brianna Middleton's character, and once he gets got, he is and is heartbroken. He wants to figure out why and how, and that's how he gets in trouble. And let me say something about Brianna Middleton because as I was watching her, I think she did a great job in this film because she plays two different versions of herself, Sandy and Sandra. Um, I think she did a really great job. I was distracted by the fact that she reminded me so much of Gugu and Batha Raw, another actress I like. I kept saying, is this her sister? They have to be relatives. But of course, Gugu is a, an only child. But I just was so distracted by the fact that she reminded me, her mannerisms uh, reminded me a lot of Gugu and Bathara. But anyway, I think Brianna Middleton did a great job. She plays two versions of herself, who's a lost soul on these rough streets of New York City. Um, who was arrested for drugs and is now out on parole and has to see her parole officer, um, which gets interrupted by Sebastian Stan's character who takes her under his wing and gets her out of that situation. All of the supporting cast is great. You have Carrie Flanagan in this film who plays a parole officer. I think she did a stellar job. And She's on screen maybe five minutes, and I mean, she steals that entire scene. She's so great. I love how it starts the film, too. It zeroes in on the craftsmanship of what is seemingly a Rolex timepiece, really. And then when it is turned on its face, when you see the dial, it ticks. So you know that you're in for uh, some fraud, <laughs> some schemers, scams likely. Um, you're in for a really good neo-noir thriller. The setting and the tone really gets you invested in the characters more than the plot because the plot is predictable, especially in the final act. And what threw me off because I felt like I was one step ahead of what was happening because I see these type of crime dramas all the time. It's one of my favorite genres. I see them all the time. So you can pretty much guess where the writer is going, uh, where the story is going. So I, I get that. But in that final act, I think the plot was tainted because of the performances. The performances seemed a little deflated. And so because the performances were deflated, you knew that something was I up. I think it was easy to predict what was happening in that scenario. I think these are enjoyable though, these types of neo-noir crime thrillers. I think they're enjoyable when you feel like you're one step ahead of these unsuspecting characters. I think that's enjoyable because it keeps your mind engaged. And that's what I did like about this film. Uh, new Grammy winner Samara Joy is in it. I love the music. It's so score. It's scored really well uh, because every chapter has a different tone because you're following that particular character. And I think the different vibe in every chapter changes based on 
the character. I think the shifting of the score based on the character that we're following, their story, somewhat backstory, um, worked for that particular character. It was very distinct in that way. Um, overall, I really do enjoy this film. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Again, it's predictable, but that predictability really does keep you engaged and invested in the particular character. You don't feel sorry for any particular character. You are just trying to figure out where their story is going to lead them. And based on where that story is leading them, how they'll respond. What's interesting um, when you do, when the plot is predictable is how this character will respond based on the information we are learning about them as they're going through these situations. It's very situational in that respect. All in all, Shopper is definitely worth a watch. It's very sexy, gritty, it's engaging, and I think you'll enjoy it. Shopper is streaming on Apple TV Plus now.